Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my Yalk book haul. So yesterday I went to Yalk. Yalk stands for Young Adult Literature Convention and it's part of Comic Con and it's essentially like BA. You get to meet some of your favourite authors and there's panels and workshops and also books. <laughs> you, you get to buy books. Um, and that's what I did. I know I've done my July book haul um, recently, but I just couldn't help myself. Books! Um, and they also give um, freebies. Um, they, they give you samples of um, books that are um, coming out in the future. And you get to meet some um, people behind like you know the publishings of the books which is really which is really good and I really enjoyed my my time there so without further ado let's get to the book haul the first books I got from Yark are Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard and Attachments by Rainbow Row so I read Red Queen just before Christmas last year and it's not that I didn't like the book, I thought it was a bit overhyped. It was okay, it was definitely interesting. I like it enough that I'm actually considering reading the second book. And of course, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell last year and I loved it. It's very relatable, I love the way she writes. So I've been meaning to pick up um, her book and so I picked attachments. As much as I said that um, Bread Queen is overhyped, I did like the tote bag. So um, when I purchased um, Sword Glass and um, Rainbow Rowell's attachment, I got this. It says, The Scarlet God Needs You. Mmm, Scarlet God, and it's red, but I really like the back as well. It says Glass Sword. But for some reason, they have the crown from Red Queen. I don't know. The next book on my book haul is The Mask City by Genevieve Cogman. Yeah, Genevieve. Genevieve. I love that name, Genevieve. Um, so this is a sequel to The Invisible Library. I love The Invisible Library. I read that this year. My friend was going on and on about it. So I said, you know what, let me read it. And then I did and I loved it. And she went with me to York yesterday and she was just adamant that I get the second book. So I said, okay, okay, I'll get the book. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to, to reading it. It's very complex, the story, but I love loved it. I also got Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, again, this is a sci-fi. I don't know why I keep picking sci-fi. Like, I'm a fantasy girl. Um, I think I'm starting to like sci-fi. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this book and from just by flipping through it, I thought, you know, it's very interesting. It's a sort of like a unique way of reading book, which is quite nice. It's very, it's gonna be, I feel, feel like it's gonna be a refreshing read. This book I technically already have, but um, I had to have it. Um, so as I said, I went with two of my um, best friends and one of my best friends was, you know, being adamant that I get one of the books that she really loved. So I sort of was doing the same thing to her because I just um, read A Court of Mist and Fury. <laughs> so I said, you know, I needed someone to talk to because I'm going out of my mind. So um, when I saw the book in... Um, in York, I said to her, you need to get it, you need to read A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury like right now so that I can actually talk to you and I don't look like a stupid idiot talking to you about it. And, and, and I realised the um, copy of A Court of Thorns and Roses that they have is signed so um, she owed me £10 so I just said to her, you need to buy these books. like. You don't even have to pay me. Just, just buy this book. I just like, okay, fine, okay, fine. Um, and so yeah. And then I begged her this copy because it's signed by my queen. It's signed, so I just said, please, please, please let me have that. And then I'll just give you my copy. And she was like, fine. And then, and then, right? He came with this. Look how beautiful. That. So um, and it has a quote from A 
Court of Mist and Fury. It says, no one was, no one was my master, but I might be master of everything if I wished, if I dared. It's fair up. I was like, please, 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 please. Can I have it? And she said, oh, fine. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna, uh, like, I'm not pretty sure, but I have a feeling that she's gonna read this book and she, she'll say, you know what, I want that book back. I want that bag back. Let me have it. <laughs> she's my best friend. I'm pretty sure she's not gonna do it for me. <laughs> so as I said, you also get to meet um, some of your favorite authors in York. And yesterday, Patrick Ness, Samantha Shannon, um, Sally Green, and um, V. Schwabs were among the authors that um, were there. And Mallory Blackman was actually there as well. I also got to meet V.E. Schwab. So yesterday I also got to meet um, V.E. Schwab and she was so nice. So I got three of her books. Um, the first one is A Darker Shade of Magic, of course. And then A Gathering of Shadows, which is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic. And also The Savage Song, which is um, her new and like series, I think. And it's all signed by her she was very very nice the queue to see her was massive I've got um, samplers of some books that are coming out um, soon one is Ink by Alice Broadway basically set in a world where your achievements your failures everything about your life is basically tattooed on your on your skin and then when you die you get to kind of like get rid of those tattoos and put it in a book essentially you have a legacy and your grandchildren your future generation can read about your life so this girl is very determined to get her father um, to be remembered and she was planning to um, you know have his book but for some reason um, his book was confiscated I don't know why I said confiscated really confiscated <laughs> Um, his book was confiscated and so she was thinking oh maybe I don't know my father um, as well as I thought I did so it's a very interesting world you know to have like a book written about your life that's something that many people want the next one is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo for some reason that is so hard to pronounce Crooked Kingdom but yeah it's basically the sequel to um, Six of Crows enough said <laughs> next one is very interesting it's called the graces by Laura Eve Laura Eve sorry so it's about the graces and they're believed to be witches everyone's obsessed with them and um, especially this girl called Rivers she wants to be part of them and I think she's just very curious about them because of their wealth and exclusivity um, and she wanted to be part of it and then you kind of don't know who's using who that's basically what it is um, it's quite interesting I just love the um, witches aspect then again we don't know if they are witches because everyone just thinks they are but doesn't mean they are um, it does remind me of the um, craft um, it's a movie I can't, I can't remember what year it was out but yeah it's interesting yeah I got this tote bag and the book is called Storm Sisters and it's by um, Minty, Minty Daz um, this book has actually been um, published already um, in different countries. I think first of all it was published in um, Spanish. I got to meet the author. She was really, really nice. Um, she asked us to um, do a quiz and that's how we got the, um, the tote bag. The quiz is basically to find out who you're more likely to be in like the characters. I think there's at least seven girls in the book and I got Sadie. And Sadie's meant to be a um, bookworm, <laughs> yeah. and she's meant to be bossy. And by the looks of her, she looks very sassy. So um, I don't know about the sassy bit, but I'm definitely bossy, and I'm a bookworm. So <laughs> it fits. Like the quiz did not lie. And as I said, it's about um, girls who are pirates, and also it's set in um, the 1800s, I think. And it's just adventures which sounds really awesome. That is it for me today, guys. Um, actually, I really need to sleep because Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is coming out tomorrow, but I'm going to the midnight release. So I'm gonna need some sleep. I'm gonna go. 
please subscribe please give it a thumbs up if you like this book and um, book <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe as I said and I shall see you guys next time probably tomorrow because I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Harry Potter <laughs> so I'll see you guys later